Okay, so we are going to start a Cayo Perico heist. In order to do this from the beginning, the way that I do it, I go to online, I go to play GTA online, invite only session. That way, we're going to get rid of any griefers, any distractions, any interruptions. We're in, we can do everything, there is no limitations, and it's solo. So there are a couple of things that you need ready before starting your mission or your heist. You want to make sure you have all of your snacks. You can get them here at the sub at the kitchen. You want to go to your style. You want to make sure when you go to style under action, eat snack. When you do the action, hold down the key and it'll eat the snack three times. So you get three times heal for one snack. Just a bit of a tip there. You can also go to your inventory, go to your ammo, and just rifle through to see if all your ammo is full. And once you have all that checked, you're ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is register. I like to register as a CEO. Start the mission, pay for the mission, and then gather intel. It says to go to Polito Cove. So what I like to do at this point is jump onto the sub, main helm, go to fast travel, you wish to set course, Captain. and travel. Saves a lot of time. I would highly recommend it. The amount of money that you make from a KO Perico heist is anywhere from Geez, I haven't made anything less than 1.1 million. And the most I believe was 1.8 million. So you can do that in less than an hour. Yeah, 5, 10, 15,000 to get it all set up and do it quickly. It's pennies. Okay, so now that we've fast traveled, let's leave the sub. I do hope you guys have the Sparrow. If not, I recommend it. It's just an easy way to get out of the sub. And to your point of destination. What I also like to do is I like to get rid of the sub. So that way it'll spawn when I come back, close to where I am. Okay, so here it is. Now, I've gathered a lot of information from other YouTubers, and I've added it to my own, and just want to show you guys how I do it. And maybe it'll help, and if it does, well, that's what I want to do. So what I like to do here is, I like to, oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Let's just hope there's a 50-50 chance that this plane will be smoking when I take off. Um, usually I will snipe that last guy that's underneath the plane so that it doesn't damage the plane. And let's just hope that it didn't damage it. Usually when it hits it from the top, I'm okay. But we're going to find out now. Now there's going to be another tip that I will show you here that's a game changer once I take off. Okay, it looks like it's not smoking, so we were lucky. Okay, so you line it up with the yellow dot on the minimap, bottom left. Okay. And try not to go to the top of the mountain. This, this plane struggles as it is trying to get altitude and speed at the same time. Usually winds up, yeah kissing a mountain. You don't want to do that. I also found that, and it's annoying, but if you go too high, you will pass your destination. And you have to turn back and uh, drop your altitude so that the game registers that you're going to kind of free from. Okay, so now that we're airborne, 
here is the little tip that saves me a bit of time and to be honest with you it's, it's a lot of fun bring up your phone call your assistants sorry your assistant for assistance you're through boss and you just leave her there until you need her So you just let the animation run its course. Paring, esperen ahí. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. Okay, wait over there. They will bring it soon. You need go help. On. All right. So once it's done, Just because select you're request luxury helicopter. Not give you free access. As soon as you leave airstrip, be careful. If guards see you in wrong place, and you wait for Pavlov to, to finish his yourself. dialogue, yellow dot comes up. Bring up your map, and you want to mark on your map where you want to go. And that's important because that's where the helicopter is going to take you. So you need to do that. I like to move back just a little bit. Sometimes the tail propeller um, gets a bit close to my head. And I don't want to be one shot. Coming in for landing. Give me some space. Get into the helicopter. And then Welcome select on board. go. You're in safe hands today. Help yourself to a glass of something. We are now going to the mark that we marked on the map. I fly for the LSPD, but I don't like cops. No, I don't. So just sit back and enjoy the ride. I love this. I really do. Now, as you get close to the tower, you're going to want to jump. You can stop the helicopter. It'll go into hover There's mode. You can jump that way. But I don't find that noise. necessary. On the minimap, which I've just expanded, the top and last camera, that's where we should jump. Now. Quickly go deploy a parachute. Like everyone else. Go into the direction you want to and push forward so that you drop quickly. Do not hit the shed, it will one shot you. That's it. We're in. Now we just have to find where Mr. Volt Lab is. And there it is. Perfect. Okay. Now that we have that done. We can check and see what we're going to be getting from the basement. Open up your phone. Skip straight to the basement. Oh! We have the pink diamond. That is the second best jewelry or item that we can get, the best being the Jade Panther. I'm very happy with that. I believe it's 1.3 mil. Okay, and if you want to, you can just scan for paintings. That's one spot. That's a second spot, and there's a painting. Do I recommend it? If you want to scout, and you see you're not going to have enough in the areas that you're going to um, be looting secondary loot, then you get the painting. It'll take up 50% of your bag space, and all you need is pretty much two more uh, items of loot, and you've got a full bag. As for me, nah. I'll take my chances. So you just jump off. 
kiss the ground, and it'll teleport you straight back. Now, when you jump off and kiss the ground, do not do it by a guard, because then it'll give you a mini animation where the guard then um, beats you up. Just lose time. So now we're back at the airport. Wait for the animation to finish. Stay looking this direction. And summon... Your sparrow. It's instant, and it always appears here if you look that way. What we do is we summon the Kasatka, and it should just pop up in this vicinity here. So, okay, so what we're going to do is start up the next mission. And before we do, while doing prep, I'd like to go to weapon loadout just so that I don't forget and get the suppressors because we're doing uh, silent and you must have the suppressors, uh, otherwise you're going to be making a mess of it. I also go with a conspirator because then you'll only need that one rifle if you're doing it in silent mode. But we'll do that second. So the next is approach vehicle. We're going to go with a submarine Kasatka. And then go back to the helm. You want to fast travel as close as possible to the yellow dot. So either there or there, and I would say there is best. Select it, which is North Chumash. All right, once we are here, we want to switch to drive because we're going to want to drive the submarine to the destination. So we are going to point it towards the yellow dot on the minimap, bottom left. You want to take these guys down? I would recommend it because if you get one shot when you're in there, these guys are going to cause you grief. So, we switch to periscope mode and we lock on and we fire. Look at that. Lock on, fire. Wait for him to be destroyed. Lock on, fire. Lock on, fire. That's it. I believe they're all... Yep, there he goes. They're all done. There's nothing else. Alright. We just start diving. And try to get to the center of that yellow question mark. Well, there it is. I can see it now. The way you want to park your submarine is to have your door here as close as you can to that entry point which is the yellow glow on the black submarine. Okay. Let's try reversing it a bit. I mean, you don't have to do this honestly, be so pedantic about it, but that's okay. A little bit down. For me, that's good. Then you put it into autopilot and you leave. And it will keep your submarine in that position. You automatically wear your mask, which is good. And away we go. So now we're going to swim. Oh, I forgot what side it is. Or what side the um, submarine is parked at. There it is. Because we're wearing the mask, we're fine. We have a lot of air. Once we are here, are I like to go to inventory, body armor, 
wear body armor. Select my weapon. And I usually start here. We're looking for a green box. Okay, we'll go a little bit further. And then we'll turn around and go back. And I'll tell you why. Oh, get this guy. He's a, he's a griefer. Okay. So we're going to go back. And the reason why is, usually if it's not here, then if we go to the other shortcut, the other way is a shortcut. If we go to the shortcut, hopefully we'll find it straight away. Because usually if it's not there, the second most common place is where we're going to now. So you go here where the starting area is. We go right instead of left. And we just straight drop down and fire. Oh, one shot. And that's what I forgot. So, but guess what? I'm glad we actually... I'm glad we actually died because... I can show you now where we need to go. See? We need to go here. There is no helicopter or the three boats to cause us any grief. So we can pretty much resume where we left off. Now normally I do this pretty smoothly. But because I'm I'm showing you guys how to do it, I'm a little bit distracted. Okay, let's get the proper weapon. Let's head back down. That guy's still gonna be there, so we're gonna want to take my straight away. Okay. Let's see if it's there. Nope. Okay, so if it's not there, it could be at the bottom of the stairs. There's a guy usually here, by the way. Oh, there it is, as I said, but there's a guy usually here. There he is. Okay. And this cuts heaps of time. Doing it this way. You don't have to do it this way, just run the whole gauntlet, but I prefer it. Oops. Okay. So we swim back to our submarine. We enter right here at this door, and it'll be right smack dab at the headquarters where we can start the next mission. So what I like to do now is go to my weapon loadout, go to the conspirator, accept. Then what I like to do is I like to go fast travel to Vespucci Beach. I find that that is a good central place for the remainder of the heist missions. It automatically defaults there anyways, so we fast travel. Okay, so we take control of the um, submarine, and we head for the beach, because we're going to beach this whale. The reason why we're going to beach it is it brings it so much closer to where all our missions are. And secondly, and more importantly, if you're going to be using the oppressor mark 2 like I am, you, you don't want your oppressor, and mine has fallen off a few times, you don't want to be paying insurance for it. So if it falls on the beach, you're fine. So what you want to do is you want to beach it up to about there. Now you want to set it to autopilot, and it'll keep it there, and it'll think it's in the water. And you can start your missions. Okay, let's change back to combat. Oops. Okay. Go grab our sparrow. Now, what I like to do is I like to use the sparrow to get to... Well, for the first mission anyways, to get to a road. Then I like to swap over to the oppressor. 
The Sparrow is good, but it doesn't heal you. The Oppressor, in between missions, heals you so you don't have to stop and eat some snacks to replenish your health, which is a little bit annoying. I like to just, you know, eat and go. Or, in this case, heal and go. Alright, in this situation, we want to go through the top. It's just so much easier. Ready your weapon. Let's go. found this little trick as well. There's a guy sitting in here. And usually what you do is you just shoot the door, then shoot him. Otherwise, if you go to the door, he'll shoot you first. If you have trouble opening it, check for their computer. Probably a remote system. We're looking for 7138. There it is. Did that work? Can you open the locker now? Don't forget, I've done this a couple of times. Don't forget to leave by the roof. Otherwise, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Why? Well, you've left your oppressor okay, on the roof or your vehicle on the roof. And if you wind up at the bottom, you have to spawn one. There are going to be two helicopters coming after you, and they are just ridiculous. And you want to make sure you pay attention to where you're going. So we're going to head the left for roof on the D-pad. Quickly get on your compressor and go. Okay, just watch what I do, park it where I park it. When you enter the door, straight to the command center, next mission. All right, now we just go, you don't have to worry about anything in disruption. In silent and sneaky, you don't need them. So equipment. Don't worry about demolition charges, silent and sneaky, don't need it. So we're going to go with the plasma cutter next. Now, Mr. Rubio's display case is not this At the safe house, there's not going to be anyone here. You just want to take a picture and go. So you want to find a, a board that has... There it is. They're playing. Oops. So you want to take a picture. Send it to Pavlov. And then leave. Depending on where these guys are holding up, it can either be easy or hard. Now, if it's in a little nook with a gate, it's going to be a tough one because to actually retrieve the bag that has the plasma cutter in it, sometimes you'll actually have to get off of the oppressor. And two cars come all the time, like one wave after another, and, and it can be a mess 
really quickly. So you want to get in there, get it done, get out as fast as possible. Bag. Okay, it's already glitched. The reason why it's glitched is I haven't passed with my oppressor uh, over the yellow dot, which I have to do now or it will register. So once that's done, head yeah, back to the sub. And I'm, I'm actually glad that I did that because it'll show you, in case you do it and you didn't pay attention that you didn't trip the yellow dot, why it won't let you go back to your sub. So you actually have to fly over it. Again, all the damage I took on my way back, I've healed because I'm on the oppressor. Alright, so we're going to start with a fingerprint cloner next. So we'll start that mission. And we'll wait Bye. for our instructions as to where we need to go. The fingerprint scanner we saw in Mr. Rubio's office is state of the art. Ordinary hacking tools is out of okay, the Okay, with the so fingerprint scanner, we find the, the safe tool. first place you go to will have guards. The second place will not when you pick up the actual item. Now, depending on which one, I don't know where all the switches are for um, the cameras, but it helps if you actually find um, where they are, if you can locate them and switch the cameras off, because when you go in there, they won't be aware you're there, and there's a less chance they're going to take you out. So let's see if I can find the switch box for this location. So there's the cameras there. Can't see them yet, but you will. The there you go. The is and I believe... The current location I'll just leave my pressure there. I believe it's right around the corner here. You must avoid surveillance cameras yeah, or so this is the box. Okay, so you will be guarded. kill the power. The see you, you You'll will see on the mini-map. Cameras will go off. There they go. Ten cuidado. And now you're good to go. But before you go in, get the weapon ready. Let's go. Sometimes you have to stay a little bit away, wait for his dialogue, then move to the laptop. We must get inside and it will allow you to get to it. I know what you are thinking. Hacking into a cyber security oh, system is like horrible. pissing into the wind, yes? Well, if I were American, I would agree with you. Okay. Now that we have this done, I don't know why he's speaking. But now that we have this done, we can go to the next place. There won't be anyone there. You will want to take out the cameras because even though there won't be anyone there, you'll not want people waiting for you when you get out. Let's do that now. You are okay, don't want to get now. too, Watch too out. close to trip the cameras. Right here is good. Weapon out. You take out the first camera here. And the second camera right here. That's it. You're good to go. The tool you are looking for will be the size of a credit card. The of tool usually is at the end of the desk area here. There it is. Just pick it up and run straight back in. Did you find it? I
All right, let's head back. I have not been able to stop thinking of that diamond truck again. What a beauty. So now we do the final mission. Cutting torch. Now the cutting torch is really cool because you can use it underwater for the great or drainage system. You can use it to cut chains from gates. It's really, really handy. And it allows you to use that instead of explosives. So you can really go in there and do your job sneaky and not get detected. Glad they used this derelict building. Well, after seven years, it's still so under construction. I call it derelict. Now you can shoot the guys up here. I tend not to. What I like to do is park it right here by the parachute and the yellow helmet. We're gonna want to get the helmet. So what I do is I run to the helmet. It'll trip over the little caption in the top left corner. And then I would like to walk away and wait for the little caption to disappear, which then will allow you, when you approach again, to wear the hat. There we go. Now, once you have the hat on, you'll be able to go look for the cutting torch without being uh, noticed, but you can't stay in any one spot for long. Otherwise, they will get you. They will pick up that you're not supposed to be there and I'll start shooting at you. You want to avoid that. Okay, so we run to these and look for a little blue cutting torch. Go to the other green arrow pointing down to a toolbox. I usually go in this direction. Nope. All right, let's try over here. Yes. Pick it up. Run back to the stairs and we're good to go. And that's it. And then, start the mission. Let's do it. Now, when we start this mission, it's all about timing. Once you get in there, you've got to move. I'm going to show you how. And if you don't do it, it just makes it that much harder. So just confirm everything, play, accept. It'll bring you up to the uh, menu on how you want to do the mission. So our approach is going to be the Kasatka. Infiltration point is going to be the drainage tunnel. Compound entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel. Escape is going to be the main dock. Time of day, I like to choose always daytime and then continue. So we start swimming for the drainage tunnel. I like to have a distant view of my avatar. Just gives me a better view of what's going on. All right. See you in maintenance room. All right, now that the tunnel is decimated. Excellent. Did I ever tell you about the sewers? Let's go. It was there I first started the to join the navy. Perhaps it was the same effect. Now this is important as I said before you're going to want to start running straight away and you want to go in the same path that I'm going to go. Even pull out your gun as you are running. Okay, so we're going to go up these steps that he's facing. We're going to want to pull out the gun, run up here, well, it's all timing, here, to the bushes, hug the bushes, 
go this way to the left and then to the right. Jump up here. Once you finish jumping, go to sneak and fast sneak. Let's see what he has for us in the vault this time. Up the stairs to the left. Felipe there he is. We want to take this guy no. up first. Hopefully he Me drops keys. We need the keys. Lo vi hace poco. Sí. Seguro se no lo olvidó hace pendejo. Right, let's try this guy over here. Watch out for the Mr. Rubio's personal bodyguards. They patrol this area. Yes, he dropped they the keys. Every soldier okay. on the island. And then we're going to go up here and kill one more guy before we enter area. the safe. I can. J I usually just turn here and just shoot the guy when he's. Yeah. He just pops around the corner, and now we can just run in here. Go to the safe. There's a heal here, so if you were shot, you can heal up. And there's anywhere from fifty to a hundred thousand dollars here. We got ninety-seven thousand. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's go to the fingerprint scanner. There are either one or two paintings possibly in here. I'm gonna skip them. How do we do this? You go to the top and you leave it. You go to the top, one to the right. Remember, it to the right. There we go. All of them are the same. Start from the tip, and then tip one, tip two, tip one, two, three, tip one, two, three, four, done. Every one you go down, you count one more. Excluding the first ones. So that's zero. Tip one. Tip one, two. Tip one, two, three. Tip one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Simple as that. Do not give up on a locked door. Why not ask a guard nicely for the key? Success. Good. Now take the elevator. We are almost there. Straight to the and door. Plasma cutter. Again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you call it a cutting torch, I guess. Then we use the plasma cutter. Now, here's how I use the plasma cutter. Okay. I will start it, go red, drop it down to the now dollar sign, course. and Steady. keep doing you the same thing. Red, dollar sign. Bottom place. right. Steady red, yours. dollar sign. Red, dollar sign. Red dollar sign and it should pop open now. There it is. I find out the fastest instead of pulsating it. You know, he had this rock stolen from the Okay, so we get out here now. If I can do that, I'm using the controller, usually I don't. And straight to this fingerprint scanner. It looks like they have sealed off the drainage pipe you used to get in here. You will have to find another way out. Tip zero, tip one, tip one, two. Tip one, two, three. There we go. All right, switch back to mouse and keyboard. <clears throat> so with this one here, we open up one more door and we sneak out. Turn to the right, up these stairs, turn to the right and left, open the door. I like to hug the right wall. Spin around, spin around, spin around. Up here, sneak. Okay, he's not there. If you look at the bottom left map, there's nobody there. You can just quickly run here. And you've got it. Just hit the E, and you're outside. If not, or you're not sure, just sneak up, wait for the guy to pass. Once he turns around, you can sneak past him, and you're good to go. Wait for this animation or cutscene. So the weapon that we've used, that's all we need to use. Use the zoom on it as well. Run to this bush here. Run up well to the second the and third. Is done. The only thing left to do is escape. Take Carry him out. Like now with this guy, you want to run to this bush and take him out. And the reason why the is you want to know what your backstop is. is because if you accidentally Enough. shoot oh. twice, you will alert the other guys. But if you're pointing this way, it'll just hit the tree and they won't be alerted. Run up to the last bush here. Take the guy out on the left and then swing to the right and just unload on him. And that's it. He's done. Go over to the bike. Take out this camera. Get on the bike. Now, when we're on this bike, we want to stay to the right side here. When we get up to that guardrail up there, we want to go right. Then there's going to be these two bushes here. We want to go between them and then left. Between these two red pieces here. And then right. 
and just try to find a gap like I have here. Go, go, go. You don't have to rush. Up here. This side of the ridge. Up. Follow the ridge down. And then you want to find a gap in the trees. Oh. You don't want to do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've never done that before. Okay. That's what you don't want to do. So anyways, let's try that again. You can go to where the boat is. I don't like to. I usually like to go through this gap here. That's the main dock. Oh. Can you see a boat and you stop the bike here. Now there's going to be a guy right in front of me here. Take him out. Then the camera. Okay, the helicopter's coming. You want to go in here. Okay, we've got some good loot in here. We'll grab... Uh, nothing yet. What I like to do, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Is take out this guard that's coming up here. See him here? Once he stops walking, take him out. Okay. Run over here. Take this guy out. Get back on the bike. This part you don't have to do. I just like to do it because when I leave with the boat, it doesn't set the rest of these guys off start shooting at me. Okay, so there's a guy just over here. Just pop him one. Get back on the bike. We've got plenty of time. So nothing to worry about. Okay, so I use the bike now to get back. Over here. The reason why is I like to pick up Coke first. Okay, there's another guard coming up here. I see him walking. Wait for him to stop. There he is. That's it. Now, as I'm going here, on the left-hand side, there are two guys. You want to line them up and kill them both. These two guys here. See their heads? They're lined up. That's it. They're down. There's no one else you're going to have to worry about. So you can go in here and see what kind of loot's in here. Again, if you do this in your prep mission, you don't have to do any of this now. Either or. It's up to you. Okay, what do we have? We've got money and weed. So let's go with the weed. I believe the weed is worth more. I love the way he just stuffs everything in the bag like that. So we've grabbed that. We're going to head back. We're going to take the other two loots. And then we're going to head back here again. Now, this is really unnecessary, what I'm doing. It's not efficient. But again, you have plenty of time. So, it's up to you. Or, you, as I said, in your prep, you can find out what's here and you could have gone to it now. You made it more efficient now by spending a bit, a bit more time in the beginning. It's up to you. Okay. Wow, we're going we're gonna to get a lot of money this time. No Coke? That's okay. And we'll just finish off by filling our bags with money. This is going to definitely be a good take. Okay, we're full. Let's head to the boat. So the boat is just to our left. Or we shot those two guys in the head. You want to stay on the left side of the boat because that's where the steering wheel is and it's away from the guard. It'll allow you to pretty much get into the boat and get ready to drive faster than if you went in on the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and we're going to just see where these boats are here. Okay? Just wait for him to turn around. It looks like he wants to turn around. Yep. Wait for him to do that, and then we can just make a beeline for open water. Let's do it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. We're done. Once we get to a certain distance away from the island, the cutscene will come in, and we'll see how much of a take we get. And this is how I do it. And it's just a matter of getting better and better and more familiar with this pattern and pretty much just becoming efficient and getting it done in 45 minutes flat. 
from start to finish. And I recommend doing it in hard mode because you get 10% more of your take. All right, let's see how much I made. Heist passed. Potential take, I wish. Six mil. One million, five hundred sixty-eight thousand two eighty. I'm happy with that. I completed it in under 15 minutes, zero failed hacks, and full loot bags. One million, six hundred and eighteen thousand two eighty. I'm happy with that. So that's it guys. I hope this video helps. And if it does, and you guys like it, I'll make some more.